Hi, this is David Vai. I'm the uh, Director of Technical Marketing with the AWR Group of National Instruments. We're here at IMS 2018. I'm joined with my colleague, Joel Kirschman, who is uh, the Product uh, Specialist for VSS, which is Visual System Simulator. And uh, Joel has brought to our attention one of his good uh, customers is uh, Kyle Roseberry, who I'm meeting for the first time. Hi, Kyle. And Kyle, you're with Mercury Systems. Yes. That's correct. Maybe uh, could you tell our, our viewing audience uh, what you do, at, what are your job responsibilities at, at Mercury? No problem. So at Mercury Systems, I'm an engineering tech, and I spend my time in the engineering lab working with the, the various parts that we're using in our system. So we characterize those parts, and we create VSS blocks from real data using the linear and nonlinear characteristics. We can put all that into a model, and that way we can go back to the computer and we can lay out a whole system using blocks right. that we've measured individually. Okay, and as a aerospace defense contractor, I would imagine that the parts are very well controlled and, and so you have a finite group of parts that you work from and maybe you're testing different vendors and, and you know trying to you know, swap cost and size versus performance. Push the, push the performance to the limits. So yeah, e even minor performance upgrades between vendors, between parts. Um, we can, just by changing a file name in VSS, we can see what's going to happen if I try this part instead of this part, or even if I tune it differently. Right, so would that, Joe, maybe help with this, is that something that would lead to maybe architectural changes, or you're just kind of figuring out the better it's the architectural changes or optimization of the components that are necessary to get the metric of desired. So, so I guess I'm visioning two two end users. Or one is is you are primarily doing support for a design team, and then the design team is doing the system integration based on libraries that you've created. Uh, can you talk? Uh, are there some advantages with VSS over maybe some other tools that you find particularly? Uh, advantageous for you, the guy who's got to support a design team? Well, VSS saves a lot of time, and you're not going out to the bench, and it, ultimately, you yeah, you can daisy chain all the components together and create your system, but then if you have to change something out, if there's a part that you don't have, we've spread this throughout all of Mercury in the United States. We have, off, we have labs nationwide, so if I have a part that I want to try, and California has it, they don't have to mail me a part or I don't have to go to a vendor and find a part they want to try. They just give me the file and I can see what's going to happen. There's, it saves a lot of time delays, saves a lot of going back and forth and getting it right when all I can do is tweak variables. Okay, and Joel, would you consider that to be a pretty typical application for for VSS? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, what Kyle is doing is very typical of the methodology of working with VSS. And uh, in addition, from my understanding, um, You've created this library. Does it reside on a server and everybody has access to it? Or? Correct. I'm actually using a feature that is included in VSS. There's a script that you guys have that says create XML library. And so you create that and all we've done is use the XML properties to anyone who's linked to it in the company has access to this library. So yeah, people in California, people in you know, the Southwest, people in our, our New Hampshire office, they all have access to our parts and they can add parts to the library. And because it's one library for everyone, it updates automatically. So, um, uh, Joel, in, in your position as support and product evangelist, you do a lot of support and like on the training, how to use the tool. I mean, I, I do understand that it's, it's a relatively uh, user intuitive, user friendly tool, but maybe you could talk a little bit about the support and getting a design team up and running. Certainly, we've been working closely with Mercury Systems and uh, we periodically go by and uh, do hands-on trainings for their specific needs. And more importantly, working with Mercury Systems, they've given us um, hints and tips or modifications to models to meet their needs and requested certain measurements to be added to our product. And we, what we do with Mercury System is very typical. Is, is their, their user input goes back to development. We actually do create new features based on, on, on your input, so. That's correct. Yeah. Version 13 had added features that we had requested when we were using version 12. Yep. Okay. And version 14 is on its way out, so hopefully yep. you'll, you'll find some stuff that you requested in that. We've as already well. given feedback and we've already okay. been told it's added. Okay. Yep. So I'm excited. Great, great. Well, I want to thank Joel for introducing me to you and you for taking the time from uh, a very busy IMS to uh, tell our customers how it's been a success for you.
and wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.